Hello. Recently PineScript has added map functionality in their language. A map is a collection of data, which can be stored in a key-value pair. Until now, in PineScript, we only had variables, and arrays to store the data. But after the addition of maps, the PineScript language has become richer. Let's see how to use the maps. This is an indicator function with the name, map. Here we have called the map.new function. As I said, the data stored in the map should be in a key-value pair, so we have to define the data types of the key and value. Here, I have defined that, my keys will be of string type, and, the values will be of integer type. Now the map is ready, and its name is data. Here, we insert data into the map. For that, we call map.put function. The second argument of this function is the key name, which is a string value. And the third argument of this function is the value name, which is an integer value. We have inserted three data in the map. The key of the first data is A. And the value is 1. The key of the second data is B. And the value is 2. The key of the third data is C. And the value is 3. OK. Then we retrieve the data that we had just inserted in the map one by one, using the map.get function. Here we pass the key in the get function and retrieve the value. And then we put all the data in a variable as a text. Finally, we show this data on a label, as proof. Let's add this indicator to the chart and verify. As you can see, a variable is shown on the very last bar of the chart, and all the data that we had inserted in the map, is shown on the label. Furthermore, we can add various types of data to the map, like, boxes, colors, lines, boolean values, etc. The addition of maps in the Pine script is going to be of great use in the future. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. Thanks for watching.